My question today is, why does a technology that's supposed to make heating cheaper still feel so financially fragile? And unfortunately, I still have more questions than answers, and that's a problem. Over the last 24 hours, I've been contacted by numerous homeowners. They're genuinely upset, and they're genuinely worried. Because OVA has announced that the Heat Pump Plus tariff will end on the 1st of February 2026. And for many people, that tariff wasn't a bonus, it was part of the deal. So let me be clear about what we know and what we don't know. It was a type of use tariff, and Heat Pump Plus worked like this. You paid your normal electricity rate for everything in your home. Let's call that 28 pence per kilowatt hour. Then over looked at how much electricity your heat pump had used and they refunded the difference, down to an effective rate of 15 pence per kilowatt hour for that heat pump consumption. So if your heat pump used 300 kilowatt hours in a month, you got 13p back for each one, that's 39 pounds credited to your account. And just like that, the tariff is going, and over themselves say that without Heat Pump Plus, customers will pay their standard home rate for all electricity used to power their heat pump. And they openly admit this will increase bills, because right now, electricity prices are hovering closer to the 30 pence per kilowatt hour mark. And at those rates, heating running costs become very concerning. Yes, heat pumps are efficient. Yes, cops and scops matter. Yes, system design is critical, but efficiency doesn't exist in a vacuum. A heat pump with a decent scope of 3.5 running on 30p electricity is effectively delivering heat at around 8.5 pence per kilowatt hour. When you break it down like that, it might not be totally outrageous, but it's also not the slam dunk that people were promised. Now here's where I think that things get uncomfortable. I have not seen a contract from Ovo. I don't know what their exact wording was. I don't know what commitments were made in black and white. And I don't know whether Heat Pump Plus was clearly framed as temporary or quietly implied to be enduring. And I think that matters greatly because OVO didn't just supply electricity, they sold heat pump installations which run on electricity. Which I think raises some very serious questions. Did OVO or its installation partners present lifetime costs when selling those systems, or just first year operating costs? Did they include Heat Pump Plus in any payback calculations, any affordability modeling, and any comparisons against gas? And perhaps most crucially, was it made abundantly clear that this discounted tariff could be withdrawn? If the answer to that last question is no, then homeowners are right to feel uneasy, because if a purchase decision was made on the belief that Heat Pump Plus would endure, that belief didn't come from nowhere. And just to be clear, I'm not making any accusations here, I'm just asking questions. So if you're a homeowner who bought a heat pump through OVO, and you were shown running cost estimates, payback figures, or lifetime cost projections, please get in touch or leave a comment below. So this whole thing is a developing picture, and zooming out, this isn't just about OVO. I think that this is about the entire heat pump proposition in the UK. Because OVO is not a small player, they're a top tier installer, well capitalized, technically competent, and generally well regarded for their installation quality. And if they can't sustain a dedicated heat pump tariff, what does that tell us about the market? And who's left? Octopus is the obvious comparison, but even there, the warning signs are flashing. Intelligent Octopus Go was a classic loss leader, it was very popular, probably too popular, and instead of saying, we misprice this model, the narrative shifted towards consumer behavior being the problem. And simply put, loss leader tariffs work until they don't, and until uptake exceeds expectations. And when they fail, homeowners are left holding the risk again. And this is the structural issue that no one wants to talk about. We keep telling people that heat pumps are cheap to run, but that statement increasingly depends on special tariffs, rebates, credits, and clever accounting. Strip those away, and the economics start to seriously wobble because cops and scops don't impact your bills, tariffs do. So if existing time of use tariffs vanished tomorrow, and everyone had to switch to a fixed tariff, many heat pump systems across the UK would become unaffordable to run overnight. Because right now, electricity is still fundamentally too expensive relative to gas for mass electrification of heating to feel safe. It's not impossible, but it's definitely not secure, and homeowners are rightfully concerned. Ovo says their decision reflects a shift towards cheaper, simpler, greener products, EV charging, reward schemes, and time of use incentives. These are obviously all fine and very useful, but none of them replace a heat pump tariff. So their customers are left with three options. Absorb higher bills, switch supplier, probably to Octopus and hope that their tariffs last longer, or question whether the promises they were sold still stand. And here's the philosophical bit. If electrification of heating is to succeed, it cannot rely on temporary incentives and fragile tariffs. It needs boring stability long-term pricing confidence, and tariffs designed around heating as a basic service, not a marketing campaign. Because people don't buy heating systems for novelty, they buy them for decades. But I also understand that OVO is a business. They need to be profitable. That's not controversial here, but this decision shines a light on something bigger. If the numbers don't work for suppliers, and they don't work for homeowners, then the problem isn't individual behavior, it's market design. And until electricity pricing is restructured in a serious, systematic way for heat pumps, 
we will keep having this conversation again and again and again. So if you have any documents, contracts, or examples of how Heat Pump Plus was presented to you, please reach out, drop me a comment below, email me, or head over to our forums, because the future of heating can't be built on disappearing small print. Thanks for watching. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.